Lisa felt trapped. Her husband, Mark, was charming and successful, but also incredibly self-centered. He demanded constant praise and attention. If Lisa didn't shower him with compliments, he'd sulk or lash out. Mark dismissed her feelings and needs, making her feel small and insignificant. She loved him, but she was exhausted. Lisa's story is sadly not unique. Millions struggle in relationships with narcissists, often feeling drained and emotionally abused. Did you know that studies suggest up to 6% of the population might have narcissistic personality disorder? That's a lot of people. This means chances are, you know or have even been involved with a narcissist. It's important to understand this personality disorder to protect yourself and build healthy relationships. In the next section, we'll dive into what narcissism really is. Narcissism exists on a spectrum. We all have some narcissistic traits. It's normal to enjoy compliments or want to be the best. But when these traits become extreme and impact someone's life negatively, it crosses into narcissistic personality disorder territory. Narcissists have a grandiose sense of self-importance. They crave admiration and lack empathy for others. They might exaggerate their achievements, demand special treatment, or get enraged when criticized. Their need for admiration often stems from deep-seated insecurity and low self-esteem. They use others to validate their worth, leaving a trail of emotional wreckage in their wake. Dealing with a narcissist can be challenging. They often manipulate situations to their advantage and are masters of gaslighting, making you question your own reality. Understanding their tactics is crucial to navigating these relationships. Recognizing narcissistic traits is the first step to protecting yourself. Narcissists often demand constant attention and admiration, exaggerate their achievements and talents, lack empathy for others' feelings, and exploit others for personal gain. They have a sense of entitlement and deserve special treatment. They are also overly sensitive to criticism and react with anger or denial, envious of others and believe others are envious of them, arrogant and dismissive of those they deem inferior, and preoccupied with fantasies of success, power, beauty, or ideal love. If you notice several of these signs in someone you know, they might be a narcissist. Remember, it's not your job to diagnose them, but recognizing these red flags can help you set boundaries and protect your well-being. Narcissists are skilled manipulators. They use various tactics to control others and get what they want. One common tactic is gaslighting, where they twist your words or deny your reality, making you doubt your sanity. They might also use love bombing, showering you with affection and attention in the beginning, only to withdraw it later as a form of control. Another tactic is triangulation, where they bring a third person into the equation to create drama and insecurity. They might compare you unfavorably to others or use the third person to make you jealous. Understanding these tactics can help you see through their manipulations and avoid getting caught in their web. Communication breakdown. Talking to a brick wall. Communicating with a narcissist can feel like talking to a brick wall. They are often poor listeners, more interested in hearing themselves talk than listening to your perspective. They might interrupt you constantly, change the subject to themselves, or invalidate your feelings. This can be incredibly frustrating and emotionally draining. When communicating with a narcissist, it's crucial to set boundaries and manage your expectations. Don't expect them to suddenly become empathetic or validate your feelings. Keep your communication brief and factual, avoiding emotional pleas or arguments as they will likely fall on deaf ears. Setting boundaries, protecting your space. Setting boundaries is crucial when dealing with a narcissist. Boundaries are limits you set to protect your physical, emotional, and mental well-being. They are a way of saying this is acceptable and this is not. Start by identifying your limits. What are you willing to tolerate and what are your deal breakers? Once you know your boundaries, Communicate them clearly and assertively. Don't be afraid to say no or to walk away from a conversation if the narcissist becomes disrespectful or dismissive. Remember, you have the right to protect yourself, and setting boundaries is not selfish. It's essential for your well-being. The Art of Grey Rock Blending In The Grey Rock Method is a technique for dealing with a narcissist by becoming emotionally unresponsive. Like a gray rock, you become uninteresting and unengaging, offering minimal information and avoiding emotional responses. This technique can be helpful in situations where you can't avoid the narcissist, 
such as a coworker or family member. By becoming emotionally detached, you take away the narcissist's supply of attention and drama. This can be an effective way to reduce conflict and protect yourself from their manipulations. Remember, the Grey Rock Method is not a long-term solution, but a coping mechanism for managing difficult interactions. Self-care is key, you come first. Dealing with a narcissist can be emotionally exhausting. That's why self-care is paramount. Make time for activities that bring you joy and help you recharge. Whether it's reading, taking a bath, spending time in nature, or pursuing a hobby, prioritize your well-being. Remember, you can't pour from an empty cup. Taking care of yourself physically, emotionally, and mentally will give you the strength and resilience to navigate the challenges of dealing with a narcissist. When all else fails, walking away. Sometimes the healthiest choice is to walk away from the relationship. This can be a difficult decision, especially if you have invested a lot of time and energy into the relationship. However, if the narcissist is unwilling to change their behavior and the relationship is causing you significant pain, it might be time to prioritize your well-being and walk away. Remember, you deserve to be in a healthy, loving, and supportive relationship. Don't be afraid to put yourself first and choose your happiness. Share your story. Have you met a narcissist? Do you have experiences with narcissistic personalities? How have you navigated those relationships? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below and let's continue the conversation. Your insights might help someone else who's struggling.